Farmers across Europe have intensified protests, primarily in France and Belgium, but spreading to other nations, including Spain, Italy, Germany and Romania. The demonstrations aim to address concerns over environmental regulations, rising costs and unfair competition from cheap imports. In France, tensions rose as the government dismatched armoured vehicles to protect Paris's wholesale food market. Despite the European Commission's proposal to restrict agricultural imports from Ukraine and relax some green regulations, farmers remained steadfast in their demands, continuing to block highways and ports. French farmers, buoyed by small concessions from the government, persist in their protests, emphasising unity and determination until their grievances are addressed. While demonstrations have largely been peaceful, police did arrest 18 individuals attempting to block the Rungis market, a vital hub for food distribution. Interior Minister Gerald Darmanin warned against disrupting essential infrastructure such as airports or markets. The protests underscore widespread frustrations among farmers who feel undervalued, overburdened by taxes and regulations, and threatened by foreign competition. Belgian farmers mirrored French actions, blocking access to ports and highways. Italian farmers also mobilised, joining rallies in Brussels, signalling a pan-European movement. With all eyes on a summit of EU leaders set for Thursday, the bloc's executive commission made proposals today, namely to extend import duty suspension on Ukrainian exports until 2025 and introduce an emergency break for sensitive products such as poultry and sugar to address farmers' concerns. In addition, exemptions from fallow land rules aim to alleviate financial pressures on EU farmers. However, dissatisfaction persists, particularly regarding trade deals like the one with Mercosur nations, which farmers fear will exacerbate competition. The protests just ahead of European Parliament elections highlight the growing influence of farmers in politics, particularly attracting support from far-right factions. And therefore, we also have to, to recognise when such a major economic sector like agriculture or agri-food sector goes uh, through the turmoil. So we have to be there, we have to listen, we have to work with our farming community and we have to look together uh, for the best uh, possible solutions. Overall, the protests underscore a deep-seated discontent among European farmers, emphasising the need for policymakers to address their concerns to ensure the viability of agriculture and to maintain social stability. Ukraine's EU neighbours, Bulgaria, Hungary, Poland, Romania and Slovakia, have complained that farm imports have upset their markets, leading to protests by farmers and truckers. We will certainly report on what comes out of tomorrow's meeting in Brussels, but despite today's pronouncements by EU bureaucrats, farmers say they will continue until all their concerns are considered. We're starting to be heard, so we are happy, and that's why we see more and more mobilizations. We're united, and we're not ready to lift the blockade until we get answers to all our questions.